The polar ice sheets of the Arctic and Antarctica cover one-seventh of the Earth's surface. Because they cap the ends of the Earth, the poles each experience six months of near constant daylight and six of the darkest winters on the globe. Home of the South Pole, Antarctica is a continent of extremes. The highest, driest and windiest place on Earth, Antarctica is technically a desert, trapping 70% of the world's fresh water in 90% of the world's ice. There isn't even enough water in the dry air to make snowflakes here. Instead, Antarctica produces diamond dust, best seen at night. A polar meteorologist catches a little dust and unveils its flat hexagonal shape under a microscope. During the day, diamond dust creates an eerie halo in the sunlight. Over millions of years, the dust has collected to create an ice cap nearly five kilometers thick. But at the opposite end of the globe, the North Pole boasts the largest expanse of sea ice. An ocean of ice covers over 14 million square kilometers. Shipping lanes choked with ice make dangerous seaways, and ships with bows made of 300 millimeter plate steel must crack and cut their way through. Miscalculations spell disaster. Ships running the lanes early or late in the six-month season are often supported by helicopters, charting the safest routes from the skies. South of the North Pole, Greenland glaciers push to the sea and carve as many as 15,000 icebergs in a year. The rogue chunks of ice may tower as high as office buildings, but even greater expanses float unseen below the water's surface. To protect ships from running into icebergs, the US Coast Guard flies an ice patrol. They relay warnings to ships on a collision course. While polar ice poses problems for man and machine, the loss of it may prove more devastating. For the past 30 years, the ice shelves around Antarctica have been shrinking. They are disappearing at a rate of more than 1% every 10 years. Global warming, caused by a buildup of man-made greenhouse gases, makes a little more ice melt each year. Melt all the ice sheets, and the sea level would rise a devastating 60 meters. Remote as they are, the ice cap's influence travels the globe. <laughs> 